Hi, it's Jen Thompson, holistic nutritionist, and I'm back again talking about salad dressings because there's so many choices out there in the stores. The shelves are full of them. How do you know which ones are good for you, even with the marketing telling you they're healthy? Some of them, a lot of them are full of junk. So today I'm gonna address five hidden chemicals in salad dressings or other sauces that you need to look out for. So ranch is considered kind of a fourth food group in our house and um, we use it a lot. And I wanna find a healthier choice for my family so they don't have to take it away, they just are gonna be finding healthier versions of it. So today I'm gonna talk about all the ingredients I look for on the labels and help you make great decisions too. So number one thing to look for on, my, on your labels, I always turn them around and look at the ingredients first, is what kind of oil are they using? Okay, soybean oil, sunflower oil are not the greatest choices. You wanna look for more of olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil based dressings. Those are gonna be your healthiest forms of oil to be using. Now once they use a soybean oil or a sunflower um, oil, in the factories they become altered and that's when they lose the nutritional value. So you really wanna stick with the right oils in your, in your um, dressings. So the poor oils I was talking about, um, the ones that have been altered, um, they mess with your triglycerides, they mess with your insulin levels and therefore making your salad very unhealthy. So that was one, number one um, tip is to look for your right oil. This one is a Primal Kitchen and um, I just absolutely love this dressing and I put it on all kinds of stuff, okay? Number two thing to look for in your salad dressings is high fructose corn syrup, okay? These are hidden sugars. This is a factory made sugar. Um, it's very hard for our body to recognize it and therefore it could be causing some of the obesity increases in our, in our world today. Um, two thirds of Americans are still overweight. So we have a problem and um, high fructose corn syrup could be a big culprit. So it is increasing your triglycerides, it's increasing your um, problem with maintaining your insulin levels and it's increasing your abdominal fat. So high fructose corn syrup needs to be out of any um, ingredient list you ever pick up. If you f see it on the label, you gotta get rid of it. Put it right back on the shelf, okay? Number three is trans fats. This is another one that's made in the factories. So um, these fats are altered and our body does not recognize them. So of course it's going to be an unhealthy choice. Now what makes it a little scarier is that marketing and companies can still put trans fats in their products and label it as no trans fats, even if they have 0.49 grams in their products per serving. So you're still getting it in and their label might say that there is, fat, there is no trans fats at all. So it's pretty tricky. So you do need to look at your labels um, and, and watch for that. Your trans fats in your diet, um, coming from packaged foods, most likely um, junkier foods, and you kind of know um, if they're in there usually, you're gonna see the word partially hydrogenated oils or hydrogenated oils on the labels. Those are the big heavy hitters that you need to put those products back because they are full of trans fats. Um, and what trans fats do in our body is increase um, your insulin, your arthro um, sclerosis in your body, so you're, it's going to fill up your arteries with junk um, a lot more. C-reactive protein, which um, increases your chance for heart disease. So we do want to watch out for these trans fats, and they're in a lot of them. Okay, we're going to move on to number four, sweeteners. Well, I should say artificial sweeteners. They are in so many of your products, and you may not even realize it. Some of the heavy hitters are saccharin, sucralose, which is Splenda, aspartame, which is equal, and neotame. What are these things? Well, they are actually made in a factory, so your body doesn't r register them. They don't understand what they are, and so they're gonna treat it like a sugar. So even though diet this, diet that has been in our um, world for quite a while, um, our obesity rates are still high. So does that tell you that they're working? No, they're not working. They're not changing anything in our health. They're not making it better. So watch for these, these names on your labels. I'm actually gonna put them in the description so that you can see them and know which ones to look for. Instead of using those artificial sweeteners, sweeten your things naturally with honey, homegrown or raised honey, raw honey, fabulous for a sweetener. 
or stevia, not Truvia. The tricky thing there is Truvia is factory made in a, in, in, for Pepsi. And so stevia is the actual plant um, processed correctly. And then uh, maybe just sweeten it with real fruit. How about that instead of using all these artificials? So look at your labels and you're gonna su be surprised on how many sweeteners are in the things that you may be using and actually in the things that you might think are extremely healthy. Vitamins, supplements, they could also contain some heavy duty artificial sweeteners and so they're not healthy anymore. So be, be aware and read those labels. Number five. This is an interesting one, nanoparticles. Nanoparticles um, is di titanium dioxide. That doesn't sound healthy at all, and if you see that on your, your label, no way could you find that separately on the shelf. So it's pretty much telling you that's a chemical or an additive that probably shouldn't be consumed. Titanium dioxide enhances the color of paint. So yes, it's found in paint and it's a thickening agent, and that's why companies are putting it into their dressings. So there's less separation and it's more of a creamy look to their product. Very, very unhealthy. Once you ingest these particles, they go right into your lymph nodes. So therefore, they're gonna alter your immune function. Not a good idea, especially when we have so many other things to worry about in the environment around us that's affecting our immune system. So you do wanna stay away from these, these nanoparticles or titanium dioxide. It's very scary. But the good news is that your organic salad dressings, they do not contain these at all. So one of the good things about picking out an organic product is that there has been standards set by the National Organic Standards um, Board, and there is no way that they're gonna allow these products in there, okay? At least nanoparticles in there. So look for those labels. Now, before you open up that next bottle of Hidden Valley Ranch, it is so good, right? You know now that you can find a different alternative, a different salad dressing that can substitute out and you can still have it for your family to use. If it takes a, a ranch to dip their broccoli or their vegetables in it, use it, but look at your labels. Now I'm also gonna throw in the description below the link to my other video I did on making your own salad dressings. So very easy and um, you'll probably have those ingredients in your pantry or in your fridge already. So it makes it very simple and you won't be destroying the nutritional value of your salad or your vegetables anymore. So thank you so much for joining me today and don't forget to subscribe and even like my video. Once you subscribe, all you have to do is enter in your email and you will be given my videos um, anytime they're posted. So it makes it easier to find my tips and my, my tricks of being healthier every day. Thank you so much. Salad dressings can be pretty simple. Salsa, one of my favorite things to add to the top of my salads. Or just lime juice, pretty simple. When we go into brands, these are some of my favorite brands. Wild Times, Annie's, but you gotta be careful on that one still. Watch your labels. Drew's, one of my new favorite. Look at there, ranch. You can still have ranch on your salad, but just watch your ingredients. And the Primal Kitchen brand is one of my favorites as well. And if you can see, I've got bowls out for my kids and then bigger bowls for the adults. Salads happen a lot in our household.